Hey, it's Ted McGrath. So I want to talk to you about how do you stay authentic in building your brand or build an authentic brand. I'm going to give you three very specific action steps today that whether you're an artist or an entrepreneur, this can save you a lot of heartache along the way and also help you reach millions of people with your messaging and your brand in the process. I'm both an artist and an entrepreneur. I have a brand called Message to Millions and I also have a brand called Good Enough and that's my artistic brand for my play, my movie, and my documentary. So let's talk about this right now. And if you like my content, subscribe to the channel. I release two videos like this every single week, okay? And leave a comment, do all that good stuff. So first and foremost, first tip I got for you is find the authenticity in your brand by finding your story. Doesn't matter what business you're in, you know, people wanted to know Steve Jobs, which is why they did a whole thing on him and several movies on him after his death, while he was alive, etc., because they want to know the story of the man behind the brand. People want to know that about you. The woman behind the brand, the man behind the brand, you are the brand, be the brand, right? So um, tell your story. What is the story that you're going to tell about your brand? Now, the way I started to become really authentic in my brand was when I started to tell my story. So I've produced a play, a one-man play, where I play 15 characters on the stage. This week coming up, we have about 1,500 people that are projected to register for this play. And people from all around the world will be watching it. How have I marketed it? How have I attracted the audience? Well, one, I stayed true to my life story and I told it. And I was open and I was honest and I share the pitfalls of my life, I share the breakthroughs of my life, the good, the bad, the really ugly, but it's an authentic story that's only unique to me because it's my story, which is the same thing for you. So in building a brand, the more you can get your story out there, nobody can be quite like you. So that automatically makes you unique and it makes you truthful and truthful is appealing to people. You know, you know, most of my life I didn't feel good enough. And you know, for the first part of my life, I chased the money. 21 years old, got in the insurance business and didn't have a better plan. And by the time I was 22, cracked six figures and I OD'd on the kitchen floor, soul coming out of my body, two bags of cocaine, ecstasy, 15 drinks, just the whole nine yards. And, you know, I woke up and came to the realization, like, is this really all there is to my life? And I went on this whole journey, and I won't go through the whole story now because I want to teach you some content, but in the play, I talk about how I found myself again and found who I was and how I discovered that I am good enough, just like you're good enough to get out there and build your brand. So ultimately, it's important to talk about your story because story is a thing that inspires other people. The second thing in building your brand is you got to do something that you're truly, truly passionate about. I'll give you an example of this. We are creating a new platform for artists and entrepreneurs. That's something, and you hear people say this all the time, it's never been done before. This has never been done ever before on planet Earth, what we're doing. And we'll reveal it to you when we launch very, very soon. But we're doing something super special for artists and entrepreneurs to help them create their brands in a new way, artistically and business-wise and from an entertainment perspective. So this has been a, a sorely, sorely, sorely passionate in the best sense of the word, like your passion's burning for me to do something like this. Why? Because I have a passion to put control and fate and destiny back in the hands of the artist and allowing them to control their future, allowing them to own the audience, allowing them to monetize their works rather than having to go sell out or have somebody control how they make decisions. Deep, deep passion of mine. Why? Because when I got into the space, I was like, well, why don't I just create my own play? When I went to go do a feature film, which we're starting to film early next year, and I have it fully funded, I have the directors, the producers, and when I went to go do it, I was like, why don't I just produce it? Why don't I take control of it? And that way I could stay 100% true to my story. I could stay 100% true to my passion. And so I want you to think about if you can build an audience, and that's a skill set you need to learn, then you can stay so authentic with your brand that it's always true to who you are because you control the message. Think about how much distortion happens in the media because the truth isn't being told. Think about how distorted you can be and be shaped and molded into some other different character or person because somebody wants you to be this way. When you have the audience, you have the power. And that's what you need to do to build an authentic brand is to control the audience in the sense of the word, meaning you are able to distribute it. When I wanted to get my play 
out to people virtually recently, boom, we're on target to hit 1,500 registrants. We sent out one email already. One email got us 600 registrants. Then my clientele, we already have several hundred from my client list already coming of clients of mine. And now we have our marketing with a couple more emails. It'll put us over 1,500 people registered for this event. Like how? Well, controlling the messaging and the marketing. So that's the tip. The second thing to stay authentic is you got to build an audience so you can control what it is that you say. And the third and final thing is um, surround yourself with really, really great people who validate what you do. You hear you know, surround yourself with great people, but I'm talking about people who validate what you do. If you don't have people who believe in you, this is so important, then you're gonna change who you're being and how you're being and what you're doing to adapt to what that person says or what their style is. And ultimately, that is not being authentic to your brand. I went through the trials and tribulations of doing this early on in my career. What's coming out now is my true passion, my true branding that's coming out now with my new platform, Got Dreams, with my Play Good Enough, all of that. You're gonna see a lot of that coming out now, right? So this is the evolution of my brand. And so um, these things are really important. So I want you to really think on this and make sure that whatever you're doing, you have to believe in it. If you believe in it wholeheartedly and you're passionate about it, guess what? You validate it first and then you don't tolerate people around you who don't validate what you do. You get them out, period. And I'm not saying, hey, they can't be friends, they, they can't be in your work life. I wouldn't have them as friends either, but you can't have those people in your career life where you're trying to build a passion and get it out there. It's hard enough already to do that, to have people around you who don't validate what you do, no bueno. Okay, so I hope these things help you in building a brand and I hope it serves you and I'll see you soon, okay? Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'll see you soon.